where is the Sega love? I mean, come on. Neo Geo love, Nintendo love. Let's get some Nintendo, some Sega love out there. Look at me, I'm even messing it up on here. And what this is, is simply Austin made this theme a while ago. Um, somebody fully loaded it, um, and then it kind of dropped off. And so Slappy here has taken it, updated the script, made some changes, double-checked games like Sega CD, things like that, added the um, Power LED uh, shutdown script, and uh, much, much, much more. So let's have a look. Alright, so here we are on this gorgeous image, especially if you're a Sega Genesis fan. So what all has done to this since the original release by Simply Austin? Well, it was updated to the latest and greatest scripts. Um, it is uh, slightly smaller in size, from my understanding, to fit most 32GB SD cards. Um, let's go ahead and check this out. So it does come uh, all uh, zipped up. It's a bunch of different zip files. Those zip files total 18.3 gigabytes, so pretty small file download. And then once you extract those 18 gigabytes, you're left with a 27.5 gigabyte file, which is at 29,547,369,000 bytes, which is not that big for a 32 gigabyte image. Now let's go ahead and see what we got in here. Um, a couple other updates were uh, removed all systems from ROM folder that um, Austin had originally included in the big one. Um, added the theme to run better. I mean, it's still it, it, this part is a is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a little faster than the original. And then when you go into the actual screens here, this actually does run a lot better. As you see, loading the uh, the video snaps is pretty snappy. Uh, again, this is for the Raspberry Pi 3B. It will not work for the B Plus because it's not on. It's not starting from scratch with Retro Pi 4.4. So you remove all the system, uh, updated the theme, added the background music scripts, and dropped in roughly 250 chip tunes from 10 games. So that's cool. I shouldn't get uh, demonetized for those. So that's good. Uh, there's still a little bit of an issue with the Z layer and how they're being processed with the video snaps, but it's not a huge, huge deal. You can now fit on the Samsung 32. And uh, lastly, keep out for a lot of new images coming from Snappy, taking some old things and updating. Okay, so it has Rycast on it, but no Dreamcast. Sega Game Gear, you have 182. Sega Master System, you have 278. Sega Genesis, you have 780. Looks like there's no hacks, just straight up the original. Sega 32X, 33, pretty standard as well. Sega CD, 22 games, Dragon's Lair, Earthworm Jim, Night Trap, Sonic the Hedgehog CD, some nice games, and then Sega SG-1000, 73 games. Now, looking at this, you should have a ton more space for, uh, for other, for other editions. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, I mean, this thing is only using... 14% of the SD card. So you can drop a ton of Sega Dreamcast games, a ton more Sega CD, whatever you want on here. Uh, you can see that you can see the Raspberry Pi GPIO script on there. Nice to see. Alright, and let's get out of here. And uh, let's try out these games. Make sure the games are launching properly. Let's, um, what game? I saw a game I want to try. Oh yeah, let's do some Sega CD, some Sonic, the Hedgehog. Another great game is Road Rash. Really good Sega CD games. So it does have the kind of motion blue-esque loading screens. It does have my controller and Sega CD running good. So I thought this had bezels, maybe it's just not for Sega CD. Hey, oh, unicycle kid. Oh, 
Uh, we could have launched in the past or stay in the present. Okay, so running good. Start select out. That works. And uh, let's try it. Uh, I could do 32x. The other thing he fixed was he um, fixed the splash screen. He said the original splash screen was a little funky. So you can definitely, I think one thing to improve this image even more, would, if people like bezels, is adding that, adding the, uh, just the Sega, the console bezel, nothing fancy. Round one fight. So, so far my opinions uh, about this image are primarily, where's my punch in this controller? There we go. Which is uppercut. Whoa, that's a pretty good combo. Tasty. Nice, Scorpion. Alright, so this one's going to be pretty quick. Not a lot going on. Just an updated Sega Genesis theme. I mean, if you want to build a little mini Sega Genesis and you want to put like that little mini, using the mini Sega Genesis, throw a pie in there, throw this theme on here, load up some of your favorite games. You can even go past Sega if you'd like. Um, if you're going past, if you're not going to use this theme, uh, you know, personally, I might just start from scratch from 4.4 and then add the theme in or you know work with some of the other themes we have out there but if you do want Sega I mean this one's the one to go for for sure um, and you can build like a totally Sega out thing from the splash screen launch screens to the actual system itself everything is Sega uh, for those people you know I gotta give this one an A because you know it gives you a way better foundation than you had before so a little updated version of it uh, for those people that are looking for like just retro gaming in general, I probably wouldn't recommend this one just because you guys are going to find way more happiness with you know some of the other 32 gigabytes that are ha coming out like the Demeso or the uh, Emolga recall box. I mean those are just w massive, massive collections, totally newer versions of the software, etc, etc. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks Slappy for doing this and I'm looking forward to some of your other stuff and we'll catch you on the next one.